Darnell with Wave of Recipes and today I'm going to be grilling up some lemon pepper chicken tenderloins in the Ninja Fui Grill XL. So let's get cooking right now. Alright so for these grilled chicken tenderloins I've got eight fresh chicken tenderloins here. I've got some Grillmates Montreal chicken seasoning and I've got some Kinder's lemon pepper seasoning. I really like this from using it for other cooks um, that I haven't done on camera but the main ingredient or first ingredient is cane sugar and I've used lemon pepper seasonings where the main or first ingredient is salt and when you're trying to get that good lemon pepper flavor with something that has salt as the first main ingredient you end up with some very salty lemon pepper chicken if you do it that way but with this one you can get some good lemon pepper flavor and since cane sugar is the first main ingredient it doesn't have that very salty taste and so nothing in this video is sponsored but just what I like to use and so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and season these up first I'm going to use the Montreal chicken seasoning to season both sides of these chicken tenderloins like this and you probably see I've got the meat probe for the ninja foodie there. I'm going to you know try and measure the cook. I don't want to overcook my chicken tenderloins since you know it's a real small thin meat. I'm you know hoping this will go kind of quick but I don't want to you know definitely don't want to overcook in the grill because that would be kind of bad to have you know dried out grilled chicken tenderloins. So just flipping them on the other side here. I'm going to go ahead and season up the opposite side. And when I'm doing lemon pepper, you might notice for you who see many of my videos, I don't use the Old Bay when I'm doing lemon pepper because, you know, the, the uh, spiciness in that Old Bay would uh, kind of throw off the lemon pepper flavor a bit. So, I don't mix the Old Bay with the lemon pepper seasoning. That, that's not a mix that uh, would really work out good for me. I don't know if it would work out good for you, but that's not, that's not a uh, bridge that I cross trying to mix Old Bay with lemon pepper. So now I'm going to, let's see, get a good one here and just get the meat probe right in, right in here. Try and get it in deep. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not favoring either side of this thin meat too much because it's thin so got it on in there pretty good and going to turn the ninja foodie on I'm going to hit that grill function and I'm going to set it down to medium for the you know temperature setting and I'm going to hit the preset for chicken so going up the chicken so now I've got chicken which is always done to well done and go ahead and hit start let things do its preheat and then once it's done preheating I'll bring you back and we'll get this chicken in there on the grill alright our preheat is done time to add our food so I'm just going to throw them on in there you can hear that sizzle as I throw them in it's kind of hot in there Oops, let's get this one here throw that in there I'll just throw that one there and this one I'll just throw in right like so there and so we'll just let that go ahead and cook and I'll bring it back when it's time to flip them alright going to flip them fast And uh, let's see if I can get in here and get them flipped over. Alright. Not too much sear. Not seeing much sear at all. But we'll flip them on over. Yeah, there's no real heavy sear mark on them, but I think they'll be okay anyway. So, let's get this last one flipped. I got a little sear on that one. So close up. We'll let this continue. All right, so it's time to get the food out. Have a look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and get them off now. 
and uh, let's see let's see if we got any any hard sear marks on any of them got a little sear on some of them got some searing so that looks pretty good so we'll just get the rest of these out that one looks kind of seared there got some little sear mark on there all right so get this last one out and you can see it's got some sear in there on it so they look pretty good I'm just going to give them the standard five minute rest here and then uh, when I bring you back we can go ahead and do a taste test of them all right so let's do a taste of one of these lemon pepper chicken tenderloins so I'm going to take this one here it's still piping hot even though it's rested for five minutes so I'm be careful thank God for this and please don't let me burn myself So just a little piece of cartilage there in that tenderloin but they came out nice and moist and juicy good lemon pepper flavor you saw as I was eating it it was like kind of almost coming apart in my hand because it's like so tender so the grill did a good job using the probe ensured that I didn't overcook my meat and so everything turns out great and so with all that said in the video description you can help this channel with things like my cookbook. You can always buy that. Also a link to the uh, cooker here, the grill. You can buy that, pay the same price, help this channel. Also, there are other ways to help the channel. You can also check out my blog, SuperWaveOnRecipes.com. There is a printable version of this and also some other recipes there. And so with all of that said, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your comments, subscribe, hit that notification icon, and good eating.